Hey guys, it's Jennifer with Emily Rose Boutique and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to create the retro wavy text um, that is so popular right now. We're going to be doing it in Inkscape and I'm also going to show you how to download and install the font that you would like to use for that. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to try and go as slow as I can. If you still have any questions or anything, please um, leave a question down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. All right, so we want to not have Inkscape open just yet, but go ahead and open your internet and we want to go to defont.com. Um, if you know the name of the font that you want to use, you can type it in this little bar right here and bring it up. But for today's tutorial, we're going to go under Fancy and then Groovy. This is where all the retro fonts are that everyone is using right now. Um, if you look, you'll see a lot of the ones that are very popular. One is the Bell Bottom Laser. Um, another one is the Keep on Truckin', Nectarine. Um, so just for um, this particular tutorial, we're going to use Keep on Truckin'. I already have it, so I'm not actually going to go through the full steps of downloading. Um, but you would download, decide where you want to save it to, you click save. All right, and then I already have it, so I'm going to go to my downloads and compress file, and it's this one right here. You want to right click on it, extract all. It'll come up with this, and you can either check or uncheck that. That's totally up to you. Hit extract. Okay. And then that will open up a folder for you. I'm trying to figure out where my folder Here it is. And then here's your font. Now you want to right click on it. I have Windows 11, so I have to do one more step. So I'm going to show more options. And then install for all users is what you want to select and I already have it but I'm doing it anyway <laughs> okay so with that done we can go ahead and close out our internet and go ahead and open up Inkscape I have the most um, updated version of Inkscape which is currently um, let me just pull it up for you really quick. So, I believe it's 1.2. Yes, this is the current version of an Inkscape 1.2.1. Um, if you do not have it and would like to get it, you can go to download now. Um, click your OS that you have. Um, I have Windows. But this is the version that I have, which is Inkscape 1.2.1. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One using a single repeating word and one where you have a saying that you want to use. All right, we're going to go to view, zoom, and zoom page width. Okay, so the first one we're going to type out is a saying. So you're going to go to text. I'm using keep on trucking, which is, you know, I showed you that earlier. Um, we're going to type out, let's see. We'll do good vibes only. Okay. I'm going to hit shift and control and zoom this out some. Okay. And while I have this done, I'll go ahead and duplicate this and bring it to the side. And um, we'll go ahead and do 
we'll do a lowercase one. We're going to go ahead and do the um, one where you repeat the word. So this is the word we're going to use for the second example. We're going to go ahead and duplicate that. Hit control and bring it straight down. Duplicate it again. Hit control and bring it straight down again. Now hit shift select and select go to object align and distribute everything should be centered anyway but we're going to double check and then you want to go down to distribute and we want to do the one where you keep all the spaces even in between okay now go back to your first example you have a lot of space in between the words easy to fix you're going to go back to your text highlight the top row go up to spacing and vertical kerning is what we're going to adjust and you want to hit the plus sign usually you can just keep hitting it until it goes down but My computer's wanting to be a little glitchy right now, so I'm having to select it a little bit at a time. <clears throat> and just get it as close to the next line as you want without going too far into it. We'll back it up just a little bit. Um, that'll work right there. All right, so your number right here that you have for your vertical kerning, you want to highlight it and copy it. So I just hit Control C. You want to highlight your bottom text, go back up to the vertical kerning, and you want to add your negative and then paste that number and hit Enter. There you go. So there's two examples right there of how to get. your words. Now remember this one right here, the good vibes only, is all one selection. This one is not. Um, so we're going to go and uh, I want to make these a little bit smaller to work with. I'm going to go view, zoom, and selection. There we go. That's good. Now, let's get started. Let's get with the fun. Okay. For all one section, you want to go to path, um, object to path, object ungroup, and then you want to go to path and union. Okay. Now that you have this a path, you want to go to path and path effects, and we're going to add the lattice deformation to. All right. So to use it, you want to go to the edit nodes section, and there's a grid line over your text. There's nodes attached to your letters, but in between the intersections of the grid there are white nodes those are the nodes that we're going to be working with and as a beginner we're only going to work on the inside and once you've done this several times and you're used to it you're comfortable with it you can go back and edit the outside nodes and customize it even more um, but right now we're only going to be working on the insides and to be more specific we're going to be working this this column and this column we will only use the middle column at the very end if we need it as i stated earlier i'm using a pc so my um, keyboard commands are usually control and shift or control and something else if you're on a mac i believe it's command so just keep that in mind um, to move these 
to keep everything steady, just like you do when you move um, letters and words and everything, you hit control and you can keep everything steady. So we're going to do that while we're moving these white nodes. And here we go. You want to start with the first one and I'm going to go up. You can choose to go down. However, whichever way you go, the other nodes need to go in the same direction. So if you start at the top and you go up, then they need to go, the rest of them need to go up. All right, this other column over here, since these went up, then these need to go down. So we're going to start at the bottom, hit control again, and we're going to start moving it down. Okay. And it looks kind of weird right now the way it is. And again, you want to make sure that you only do the white nodes. But if you take and you hit the select tool, it looks a lot better. Okay. <clears throat> so you're not completely done because if you just click off of it, it won't, you won't be able to do anything. And if you try to, um, union it or anything like that, it's gonna, it's just going to be a crazy mess. So you're going to hit path object to path. Now you can go to break apart. Oh no, all of your holes closed up. What do you do now? That's easy. We're going to start with the middle line to make sure that we get everything because if you start with the top or the bottom, you run into a chance of getting the um, insides of this B. So to avoid that, we're going to um, go with the middle section first. And it still didn't get all of it, but that's okay because these don't have insides. So just hit shift and select. I'm going to go to path and then combine. Okay. Now you want to do that with all of the other rows. That's path and combine. Now you can change them, colors of them, to whatever you want to do. Well, can't really see that one. I know the colors are kind of funky, but like, um, I think my branding colors are down here. Yeah, and there we go. Isn't that cute? So for this, if you wanted to, um, make it an SVG, go to, um, object and group already have export and look I do it that way because I can do just the selection um, instead of uh, everything around it so like when I do my mock-ups and stuff this is the only thing I'm working with it's just the selection so um, yeah so now let's go back to the word that we repeated over here all right and we're going to go in okay before we do anything i'm actually going to i'm actually going to bring it down bring it a little bit closer all right so like that distribute okay it's good now okay so we're going to go in and do path object to path, ungroup, and a union. Okay. And then just basically go back to the same thing with your path effects. You want to add the lattice deformation to go to edit nodes and Trying to do this quickly before my thing cuts off. And there you go. 
right now. So if you want to, you can go in and change um, the color. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, path, object to path, path, break apart. And then we have to go line by line, remember. Okay. This one you can do as long as you just get the whole line, you'll be fine. But remember path and combine, not union. Path and combine. And then get the last line. Path and combine. And there, now you can go in and you can select your word. Okay. I really think it looks better when you do um, all caps, but go to zoom and page width. There we go. There's both, um, both uh, examples. This one was just done with one word and then you um, copied it or duplicated it and did it line by line. This one is where you typed it out all in one thing. So it's up to you really um, how you want to do it. But like I said, I do feel like the all caps looks better, but you can do lowercase as well. Um, I hope that that was good enough and uh clear enough if not please feel free to leave me a message um i'm going to be doing another tutorial in just a minute and um because i want to get some of these knocked out that i've been seeing people ask about and this was definitely one of them so um yeah if you have a a design or a, an effect that you want to know how to do um leave a comment below and I'll try and get to it. Um, hopefully I might can do an easier tutorial if there's one around. That's one reason why I started doing these tutorials is because the ones that I tried following, they were way, way, way too complicated in Inkscape. So I played around with the tutorials that I watched and learned easier ways to do it. Um, and maybe an, a clearer way to explain it. So um, if there's anything you want to see, let me know if you have any questions, um, issues. Again, my Inkscape is the 1.2.1. .1, so if there's an issue with the way it looks, that might be why. Um, just go and download the updated version. Okay. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys have a good day and I will see you later. Bye.